Secretary General, thank you very much. Uh, I wanted to ask you, first of all, whether you agreed with the statement that's been made these last few days that this was the greatest debacle in the history of NATO. Also, whether you don't think that what's happened these last few days is really a nail in the coffin of Article 5, that allies can go into battle together, but once they don't withdraw together as a coalition, NATO has a problem. This is a tragedy, uh, first and foremost, for the people of Afghanistan. Uh, we have uh, been for 20 years. Uh, we have uh, um, deployed hundreds of thousands of NATO troops. Uh, several thousand have paid the ultimate price. Uh, and uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, non-U.S. allies uh, have served alongside uh, U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan, and more than 1,000 have paid the ultimate price. So this has really been a huge effort by this alliance. Um, when the United States signed an agreement with Taliban back in uh, February 2020, uh, of course, uh, then it was very difficult for uh, European allies to continue to stay. Uh, because, as you alluded to, we went into Afghanistan as an reaction, uh, as, as a response to an attack on the United States. And uh, when the United States decided to end its military mission there, uh, with the agreement uh, signed back in February 2020, then uh, uh, it was... Uh, no viable practical option for uh, the other allies, European allies and Canada, uh, to remain without the United States. NATO remains a strong alliance. Uh, NATO has implemented the biggest reinforcement of collective defence in Europe since the end of the Cold War. Uh, and, uh, and it was a very clear message from the meeting today that whatever happens in Afghanistan, that should not undermine our ability to protect NATO allied countries, NATO allied territory, and, uh, and uh, that was a very clear message from the foreign ministers today.